Hey everyone, uh, today I decided I wanted to test the docks. Now look, I already tore apart the docks and saw the insides and there's some different chiplets and stuff like that. And it looked like there was actually a nice controller for the ethernet jack on this because the big difference between these docks besides the colors and the matte on the inside and glossy on the inside and where the air vents are, we'll get to that in a moment. Beyond all of that, the biggest difference is this one comes with the ethernet port and this one, this is this is how you get your, your 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 wired internet. So here's the problem. I went into this wanting to know, is this Ethernet jack better? Because for those who don't know, this Ethernet jack is limited by the USB speeds. Now everyone feels like it's a USB 3.0 port only in the back of this. The ones on the side here that look like they're USB 3.0 are not that. But it turns out. The USB port inside this one on the back side is also 2.0. So while this dongle is a 3.1 to uh, Ethernet, it doesn't matter. It won't run at those speeds. That means you're going to be limited in some capacity with a wired connection on here. So the hope was that we would get a full gig, 1000 megabytes uh, speeds on here because we have a localized port that's not using a USB controller. Here's the problem. The results were not anything like I expected. And depending on the situation will depend on what you want to use. Yeah, it's complicated. All right, so I'm about to throw up a graph here and this graph is interesting. Uh, on this graph, there are two controls at the bottom. You'll see wireless with my iPhone 12 on my local network, and you'll also see wired with my desktop. Now, I, to be clear, I do not expect those kind of speeds on uh, on these you know devices because those speeds are unrealistic. Now, my internet is capped at 40 megabyte up. It can't go any higher than that, 40 megabytes per second. So that's just something that we have to work within our limitations on, uh, knowing that that's the top out you can possibly get off and upload. Download speeds though can go up to a full 1000 megabytes or one gigabyte. So that's why you see the desktop numbers looking really good. The wireless numbers are even pretty good. I have a fairly good router and I don't have any problems in my house with wireless connectivity with these devices. But the thing is, well, those are our controls. So we know a theoretical max that we could get my computer with the motherboard and my phone are obviously significantly more expensive devices. So I don't necessarily expect those kind of speeds on the switches, although it feels like it should be possible. But when you're looking at this chart, a big thing you should be noticing right now is, well, something looks off. So when these two are docked together, right? Um, when they are both in docked wired mode, something happens that I did expect. This system downloads faster. It just straight up downloads faster. Its download speeds were consistently 15 to 20 megabytes per second faster in every single test. We did it 30 times, took an average 15 to 20 megabytes per second faster every single time with the exact same network settings on everything. So that to me, suggested that yes, it's running at a faster speed. It's still not the speeds that we would like, but it's around 60 down, which is plenty for online gaming and plenty for downloading. In fact, some people only have 60 down internet anyways. So the, that, that speed is an acceptable download speed. Um, and the one with the dongle didn't do that bad, right? It was around 45 on average. It didn't do bad, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. What I was shocked about wasn't that this one downloads faster and this was confirmed. I did a, I, I downloaded like I, like 20 different games of various sizes and basically the, the Switch OLED was beating out this uh, Switch with the dongle by a whopping, you know, 25 to 34 and a half percent every single time. There was some fluctuation in there, but it was consistently faster. So Switch OLED is the fastest way to download and play games on Switch. Period. And the wireless speeds, um, nothing's really notable about the wireless speeds, so I'm not going to take a lot of time covering them. Um, just note that the wireless speeds, the upload and download, were within margin of error of each other. They basically are using the exact same Wi Fi chip. So, no shocker there, the speeds are the same. But here's the weird thing 
when you go look at that chart again, the upload speeds tell a different story. The original Switch and its old dock with the dongle, sure, it's not hitting my 40 megabytes per second up, but it consistently, every single time, in all 30 tests, it never changed. It's like it capped out at 20. Like the switch and the dongle and everything, there, like, there was some sort of cap, but no matter what, it would always hit 20 on the upload. This one would hit seven, which is conveniently the exact same speed it has wirelessly. What does that mean? There's no benefit to your upload, right? No benefit to your upload speeds when wired. Now there could be various reasons for this network settings. And I went through everything and messed with every setting I could to try to make this thing run faster. And it just kept going to seven. It kept defaulting to the wireless speeds. So then I had a theory. All right, there's differences in the docks. Well, I mean, if this one is getting, you know, 20 megabytes up, which is typically enough for online gaming, um, then this one should also get 20 megabytes up if I just put it in this dock. So I did the unthinkable. Guess what happened? Now this one with the original switch was getting 20 megabytes per second up. And this one in this switch was getting seven. What does that tell us? Well, what it tells us is that switch OLED is using inferior technology inside the actual switch unit. That the docks are not the limiting factor of the internet speeds. It's whatever way they're processing those internet speeds on these two platforms. So this one is way faster at downloads. And when you're downstreaming, when you're you know gonna be watching YouTube or gonna, whatever, anything that involves massive downloads, as an example, there are benefits to it necessary in, in situations where you might have to, um, you know, like play control, right? Do, do a game streaming thing. And I tested out game streaming. They kind of felt the same. This one had a bit more latency though. Why did this one have more latency? Well, my uploads are just really slow at only seven megabytes a second. So my inputs are taking longer to get to their server. Now it, it you know, it's coming back to me fine. The game's not lagging inputs are so there's more input latency with streamed games wired up than on here you see what i'm saying now when i said the answer to this is quite complicated because this one's factually faster at downloading but it's not at uploading and when you're doing things like playing games online your download and upload matter because your upload is what leads to other people getting data faster so when you're playing things like super smash bros ultimate People are going to see your moves updating quicker with this setup than this. In fact, it doesn't matter what you put this one in, no matter what doc, this one will consistently, consistently give you better online gaming performance, at least in terms of you uploading your data to another user on their end. So this was not the expected result of this test. I either figured there would be no difference or the increase in download speeds, because after all, we saw Switch Force's video, right? You know, Zach from Switch Force, he did an internet test comparison and his conclusion was that this was better, but he was only measuring download speeds. He didn't pay attention to the upload. Now, you might get you know, a little bit different results depending on what router and internet provider you have and all that jazz. I'm not gonna say that my results are definitive. I can only test with what I have available here. But my conclusion is that this might be the better overall experience. Now, if you're not someone who plays games online and you just care about having a digital library and you don't really do online gaming, then this is better. I think this is a better overall product than this. But I can't ignore and I also wonder why so I was looking up the components that make up the processing to be able to give us faster download and upload speeds and frankly they're really not that expensive Nintendo's just cheaping out on both of them with the Wi-Fi chips they're completely cheaped out but just in general this one shouldn't be capped at 20 megabytes per second up I should be able to get 30 plus no problem but I can't. 
This one should not be capped at seven, but it is. Nintendo, you need to do better. I understand that Nintendo has obviously been behind in online in a long ways, a uh, long time, and they've been making some strides. Uh, we have the Nintendo Switch Online service coming uh, updates with the N64 and Sega Genesis. And there's more reasons than ever to be excited about the future of Nintendo's online, they even have new server infrastructure. But you have to nail one thing correct first. This system needs to be able to upload as fast as it downloads. If it can't, well, you're just negatively impacting everyone's online experience, not just the person who bought this system. Um, and I did, by the way, just wanted to make sure that this was a Nintendo Switch problem, so I plugged it into my Xbox Series S, uh, and yeah, the, the, the test on that went just fine. It was getting the same speeds as my desktop. So, that's a $300 system. This is a $350 system. Does that make sense to you? Anyways, we have a giveaway going on right now for three copies of Metroid Dread for the month of October. Um, Dreadtober, as we can call it, maybe. Uh, so to enter, all you gotta do is be subscribed. Uh, let me know your thoughts on these platforms down below and my findings, uh, because this is not what I expected. There's no defin like definitive winner of the online, and it's not definitive in because they're the same. This one has upload speed advantages. This one has download speed advantages. Did not see that one coming. All right, folks, I'll catch you in the next video.